Hi guys, this is Flowe and welcome to our YouTube channel again. Today we are going to talk about someone who has done many things to entertain his fans. He is known for his works predominantly in Hindi cinema as well as his works in British films and Hollywood. In a film career spanning almost 30 years and featuring in more than 50 domestic films, he has received numerous awards. His name is Sahab Zada Irfan Ali Khan, credited as Irfan Khan or simply Irfan. So let's begin. Sahab Zada Irfan Ali Khan was born in Jaipur, Rajasthan to a Muslim Pathan family. Khan's mother Begum Khan was from Tonk Hakim family and his father the late Jagada Khan was from the Khajuria village near Tonk district and ran a tire business. He was also good at cricket, having been selected for the CK Naidu tournament for emerging players under 23 years, a stepping stone to first class cricket. He didn't turn up for the tournament owing to lack of funds. Irfan Khan was studying for his MA degree when he earned a scholarship to study at National School of Drama in New Delhi in 1984. He moved to Mumbai where he acted in numerous television serials including Chanakya TV series in Bharat Ek Khoj and many others. He was the main villain in a series called Dur which aired on Star Plus where he played the role of psycho serial killer opposite KK Menon. He also played the role of famous revolutionary Urdu poet and Marxist political activist of India Mahdum Mohideen in Khashan. Satyr and television kept him afloat until Mira Nair offered him a cameo in Salam Bombay in 1988. So his role was edited out in the final film. On 23 February 1995, Irfan Khan married writer and fellow NSD graduate Sutupa Sikdar. They have two sons, Babil and Ayan. In 1988, he appeared in film Such a Long Journey and various other films which went unnoticed. After many unsuccessful films, things changed when London-based director Asif Kaparia gave him the lead in The Warrior, a historical film completed in 11 weeks on location in Himachal Pradesh and Rajasthan. In 2001, The Warrior opened in international film festivals, making Khan a known face. His first Bollywood lead role came in 2005 with film Rogue. His performance was praised by critics. One wrote that Irfan's eyes speaks louder than his words, and every time he is in frame, be it talking to his buddy Manish or arguing with Swahil, he shows his capability as an actor. Thereafter, he appeared in several films either playing the leading role or a sporting role as a villain. In 2004, he won the Filmfare Best Villain Award for his role in film Hasil. Critic praised his performance in Hasil, saying that as the ambitious, brash, fearless goon who is mind-blowing, he is outright scary and makes you sit up wondering what he'll do next. In 2007, he appeared in the box office hits Metro, for which he received a Filmfare Best Sporting Actor Award and the namesake. His chemistry with Konkana Sen in Metro was one of the highlights of the multi-star movie. They were closely followed by his appearance in the international films A Mighty Heart and The Darjeeling Limited. He also plays the police inspector in 2008 film Salam Dog Millionaire for which he and the cast of the movie won a Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Cast in a motion picture. About him, Danny Boyle said, he has an instinctive way of finding the moral center of any character, so that in Salamdor we believe the policeman might actually conclude that Jamal is innocent. In 2009, he featured in the film Asset Factory. Irfan Khan has stated that he wants to do more action film in the future. He also appeared as an FBI agent in New York and as a Gujarati diamond merchant in New York, I love you. His film Passing Tomorrow about real-life athlete 
turn backward, Pansing Thoma received extremely favorable reviews by critics. Irfan Khan played Dr. Rajit Ratha in The Amazing Spider-Man in 2012. He also played the adult version of Molitor Patel in Angli's film adaptation of Life of Pi. In 2013, he starred in The Lunchbox which won the Grand Rally Award at Cannes Film Festival. In 2014, Irfan Khan appeared in Gunde alongside Ranveer Singh, Priyanka Chopra and Arjun Kapoor. In 2015, he played the lead role in the film Pico alongside Amitabh Bachchan and Deepika Bhatkorn. Irfan Khan co-starred in the film 2015 Jurassic World. In the year 2017, Irfan Khan appeared in two films Hindi Medium and Kareeb Kareeb Singer. In 2018, Irfan Khan appeared in two films, Karwa and Black Mail. In February 2018, Irfan Khan was diagnosed with undisclosed disease and it was speculated by many media outlets that he has brain cancer. After much speculation, the actor took to his Twitter account and announced that he will share his story in a week or 10 days and has asked the media and fans not to speculate anything. After his response, many actors have asked the public to respect Irfan's wish. On March 16, 2018, Irfan Khan announced through a Twitter post that he is suffering from neuroendocrine tumor. In his Twitter post, Khan also said that he would be traveling abroad for his treatment, which was confirmed by his spokesperson 10 days later. He is currently in London for treatment purposes. And that's the story of Sahabzada Irfan Lee Khan. He inspired thousands of people through his acting in films and living a normal life off screen. We pray for his health and safe recovery. May God bless him forever.